We are approaching the best time to list in 2024. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and I've been getting asked, when is the best time to list my home? To get the absolute most money. And it's coming, it's right around the corner because I have to explain why. Right around September, October of every year, going into the fall, going into the holidays, inventory is at its all time high, but it, it slowly starts to decline. Fewer and fewer people put their homes on the market. Oftentimes, homes don't sell and they take them off during the holidays when the snow is on the ground. You combine that with low inventory or low inventory and low interest rates, there's not a lot of homes on the market. And so we're actually approaching the lowest inventory level of the year. Not only that is, the, the report we just got, we have 17% fewer homes than we had the year before in 2023. So we have 17% fewer homes and we're about to approach the absolute rock bottom inventory, which if you're a homeowner, you wanna be on the market when there's no competition. Because I can tell you this, demand has been increasing over time. We're seeing it. As Soon as the new year hit in 2024, demand has been going through the roof. Our website traffic's up, buyers are searching for homes. We just had a listing get multiple offers. And it was on the market for 90 days, all of a sudden overnight, multiple offers. Why is that? Pent up demand, buyers are coming out. So when should you list your house? The second week of March will be the lowest inventory all year and the sellers that are ready and put their home on the market in March are probably gonna make, I would guess, two to 5% more money. The average sales price is $500,000. So just listing in March could achieve a $25,000 gain. So if that's important to you and you want to know what your home's worth, get a hold of our team. We specialize in selling homes for the most money. We're even going to tell you whether or not it's the good time to sell your home or you should hold on to it. And we're going to give you low cost, no cost ways to improve the value of your home. Don't wait until the flowers are blooming right, and, and the trees are green. It might be too late. And now we kind of have an earlier spring right? And, and we had a fall spring with a little bit of snow, but that snow is going to melt and it's going to look nice. So it could be a little bit earlier season this year. Now, don't be scared that when you list your house, you're going to have to move tomorrow, right? So the second week of March, if the sign goes in the ground, you may, you're going to get a lot of activity, especially with our marketing, but you're not going to have to move, right? You have to start planning, but you don't have to move. In fact, you often will be able to plant negotiate with multiple offers, you can, you can plan or, or dictate the closing date. You can maybe rent the home back. Hey, heck, maybe you're listening to this or watching this and you don't even live there anymore or you have a renter in there. No problem, we just listed a house with a renter in the house and their lease isn't up till November and the seller is gonna put the home on the market in March. Why? Right? Most people think that you can't sell a home with a renter in there. No, the new owner, the new buyer is gonna be willing to take on that lease and honor that lease, and they have to honor that lease. And they're just gonna to wait to move in until November. Or maybe they can negotiate with the tenant on an early exit for whatever reason. Easily done. So you're not constrained by your tenants. Landlords, you're not constrained by the tenants. You can still sell it. Home prices went up 5% last year, right? But they actually went down 5% the year before. So before prices, anything changes with the, with the election, we don't know, it's a coin flip, right? Think about selling your house. Think about selling your rental. Get a hold of us, we'll help you out.